Good morning, everyone. So this morning, I haven't even gotten dressed yet. I'm still in my PJs, but my mom and I woke up really early since it's our last day here to come out to the ocean to watch the sunrise. And look how pretty this is. Guys, it's so pretty out here. Okay, so this morning I got ready and we had to pack up all of our stuff, which was actually so sad. I hate packing up my stuff because that means that I have to leave. But here's a fit. I'm on the gray Adidas shorts. And this shirt, I got it. It says, don't worry, I've had both my shots. I was talking about like COVID shots. Ha 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 ha. I put the hair up. And I got the accessories like always. And yeah. Oh yeah, I also have striped socks on, which I think is pretty funny. Do you want to say hi, Nathan? <laughs> We're here inside of Bass Pro Shops. There's one like an hour and a half away from where I live. Um, but I don't really care about this kind of stuff. I'm more of the, you know, the like American Eagle kind of girl. Not the fishing and hunting kind of shopping person. But it's cool in here. Look at this fancy wall. Wow, and look at the ceiling. How cute! Even the bathrooms in here are adorable. It's got a little tiki roof on it. How cute! Look at this ginormous shark. And you can stick your head in it and it echoes. Echo! Echo! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the waterfall. And the fishies! Hi, little guy. We're having a staring contest. I think he won. I'm too lazy to try and beat him. Now we're at a botanical garden, like animal rescue thing called Flamingo Gardens here in Davie, Florida. That's where it's at. And apparently they have all of these, oh, I gotta throw my drink away. They have all of these like rescued wildlife out from the wild that is injured and stuff. And they have like thousands of different species of plants here and everything. I think that it's gonna be pretty cool. I also think that they have like actual flamingos here, so that's pretty exciting. So it's a lot of walking now, and it's really hot outside. I don't feel like walking in this heat, but we'll check it out. We'll see how it goes. Look at it's Tiki the toucan. Look, they have like mists and everything around the rivers. There's so many different species of plants out here, and we just walked out. That's the welcome building right there. And look at how cool this is. There's a ginormous tree down there. I gotta go check that out. Snikes. Well, wrap me in a blanket and call me a burrito. That's a huge tree. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say about it, Nathan? How? <laughs> what are those things? What's the matter, little buddy? What? He's an electus parrot. Hi. Echolect. I don't even know how you say that. The macaws sleep in the middle. He's like, Look, there's a kitty! <laughs> Everyone's telling me not to pet it, but I pet a cat the other day at a pier and it was perfectly fine. I want to pet the cat. <laughs> Look at the size of this tree. I have to go. I'll stand next to it so you guys can see. Lizard! There's a lizard! This is me compared to the tree. This thing is huge! So we're on a guided tram ride now. 
and they're gonna take us around and show us all the models and tell us what we're looking at so we can be lazy and not have to walk everywhere. Playing like a wedding dress. And again, Peacock is the man. You see those two pounds? That one on behind the end. For me, go put this one up to the side. I'm not gonna be telling you about. So we're going into some famous house on this land now, right behind me. And if I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know why it's famous, who lives here. It's like the Warby house or something. I don't really know, but we'll see if inside it gives us any more details about it. This is it. You can hear the peacocks back there talking to each other. It's kind of funny. <laughs> So this my new friend, was here. this is Beauty the Cat. She's so cute. They had other so buildings <laughs> around. The We're walking over to see the all white flamingo now that we saw from a distance on the little cart thing. Or it's a peacock, not a flamingo. <laughs> he just turned his back to us because he's pouting. He's coming back. Oh, but he's kind of turning back around. Also, I have no clue what these birds are, but they're so cute. They have like flamingo legs and toucan beaks and then they're white. There, he's turned around. He's pretty. Okay, so we found the flamingos and the lady that we were talking to said that they actually get all of their color purely based on the diet that they eat. Cause they eat, um, they eat like the bacteria and algae and stuff from the bottom of the pond and then they also eat salmon. So apparently they get their salmon color from the salmon that they eat. Look at the alligators. So we figured out what those birds are called. They're an American ibis or ibis or lib. I don't know what that word says, but they're very cute. I like them. Kind of want to take one home. Looks like a mini flamingo. Look at the baby otter. Yeah. It's going down the slide. <laughs> you just hop off the side, dude. You're supposed to go down the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> another little one, another slide. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe I'll let you. Like, I need an edge too. Come on, let me in. <laughs> <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> Like, oh, what are you sniffing? So they're like, they're like, um, Look at the bear and his little tongue hanging out. You look dead, buddy bear. Aww. That looks yummy right about right there. Kitty. 
I'm in the airport now. I just went through security. And apparently there was a problem with my ID. They literally could not get it to scan and they kept yelling at me because I didn't have another form of government identification. Like, my ID is supposed to work. But look, they have this little Margaritaville to go. And it's called Margaritaville in the sky. Just kidding, that was a lie. It's called Air Margaritaville. I can't read. But it's so cute. Anyways, typical airport workers, grumpy as fudge here. Oh well. <laughs> they're what? I said they're grumpy as fudge. Oh yeah. Yeah, typical TSA. I also just learned what TSA stands for today. It stands for Transportation Security Association. I didn't know what it stood for. I just knew what, like, who they were. I didn't know what the words. What? What? What'd you say? It says or Nimrods, whatever you want to say. <laughs> right. I just came in the bathroom and looked. Like, there's a the toilet and they have a shelf here. Oh, that's smart to have a shelf and then you can, like, set your bag up there and then you'll see. We got snacks. Yeah. We just for, or got off of our first plane and sure. on our layover. And apparently okay, we're in really Texas. Or just a little bit? Like, I had no clue where we were and we're in Texas now. I didn't know that was happening. I thought that we were going home. <laughs> we're in Texas, that's what? not home. Anyways, the flight was so freaking bumpy. Like, I don't usually get scared by turbulence. Turbulence doesn't freak me out, I think it's kind of fun. But we did a probably like 20 foot drop in the middle of our flight. It was terrifying. There's a Dallas Cowboys club, because we're in Dallas apparently. Guys, I'm so confused about this whole Texas thing. I did not know we were coming to Texas. We're eating at Whataburger. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we're on our second flight now, guys. And there is an insane lightning storm that's happening outside. But we're flying right through the middle of it. I tried taking pictures and videos, but it was really hard to get on camera. Oh my gosh, guys. Check it. I'm finally home. I know I was only there for six days, but that seemed like the longest vacation I've ever been on in my entire life. My family is starting to get really big and really independent to be spending like that many days together like consistently nonstop without an outside relief. Does that make sense? I'm sure you guys all understand what I mean. Like when you're with your family for six days straight in a tiny apartment and you share a car and you eat breakfast together and then you hang out together and then you eat lunch together and then you go and hang out together and then you eat dinner together and then you go and hang out together after that and then after that you go back to your apartment and then you hang out together again and then you go to bed and then you wake up and you hang out with each other again but for like seven days straight it gets exhausting. I love my family so much, guys. Don't get me wrong. It's It was so nice. I, like, bonded with my brother so much this week. Because I, like, haven't seen him. Like, even though we live together, I never see him anymore because we're both so busy. And it was great, like, bonding with my family. But it's great to get my own bedroom. I didn't even have my own bedroom or bathroom there. So it's just going to be so nice to crawl into my own bed and know that I'm the only one in my room. Hopefully. Wow, oh, now that I said that, I freaked myself out. Why did I say that, guys? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching my lovely travel vlog. And, wow, I definitely got really distracted earlier talking about my flights. Um, there were, like, there was so much turbulence. And it was snowing when we landed here. Literally from Dallas to here, it was snowing. It was terrible. We went from 84 degree weather to snow. It was like awful. And literally the altitude, because we were at sea level for a week and I live like high, high up. We were at sea level for a week and when I got off that plane here, I'm like chugging, I could feel it in my chest. I was like, yikes, how do people do this? Anywho, good night everyone. Yeah.